If you want to lock your screen in i3 Window Manager, you can use a program called i3 Lock. So if you just run the program, you will get this grayish background and nothing else. If you want to unlock your screen, you just go in and type in your password. And if everything is okay, it will unlock it. So how can you customize that? First thing that you can do, you can, for instance, add a different color. And you do that with dash dash color, and then you choose hexadecimal value of the color. And now the color is changed and unlocking is the same. Instead of color, you can also put a picture, whichever you want. Uh, the main thing is it has to be in PNG format. So when you run it, you get your picture, preferably in the resolution that is your screen, and that's it. The other thing what you can do is to have no unlock indicator when your i3 lock is run. So what does this mean? If I run i3 lock with no lock indicator you will get whatever background you put however when i now tr trying to type in my password nothing is shown i like to do this with black color and when i run i3 log it will look as though my computer is in sleep mode but even better thing is to run a picture with no lock indicator and i choose this picture let's say somebody thinks i'm working and they want to come to my computer and mess with my programs and they start clicking and typing and nothing is happening no matter what they type in they will never get anything unless they type in the right password and you can uh, take a screenshot of any operating system that you are using and just put it as your sort of screensaver. You can, for instance, tell people that your computer works only when you are touching it. That's a little joke, but hey, maybe it works sometimes. You can also lock your computer with the option show failed attempts. And what this will do, for instance, somebody comes to your computer and tries to type in a password and the password is wrong. Second time you go, you will see that one number, meaning there was already one failed attempt. If you write in the wrong password again, and next time you go in and type in the password, it will show two. And that way you can see how many times somebody tried to guess your password. And of course, when you type in the right password, it will unlock your computer. And of course, you can make a shortcut for this in your i3 config file. You just add this line. I bind it to modifier x because modifier l is already mined to something else then i usually want to see failed attempts and i put some picture just so it's nicer and when you save and re reload the file now when you start uh, modifier x it will lock your computer so this is a very simple program, but it has all the options that I want. And this was enough for me for all those years that I use i3. However, if you want a little more fluff for your locking screen, I found this page on the internet, of course, where this person made a little script, which basically takes the screenshot of your current desktop, pixelizes it, and then set it as wallpaper. So for this script to work, you have to have install image magic and scrot and depending on your distro image magic for instance in fedora is called like this you cannot find it under this name i don't know how it's in other distros but be careful of that little detail and scrot is just scrot and when you install it you can go to your i3 config directory and here you can uh, create log script or you name your script whatever you want. I just called it logscript.sh. And then you just copy the script. And your script sh should look something like this. Convert is no longer used. So you need to use magic to scale your image. And when you're done, you just save it. And I will make it uh, executable. And then when I try the script, this is how it should look like. So whatever is on your screen, it will just pixelize it and make it as a background. However, I don't want to my unlock indicator not to be shown. I will just use this option, save the file. Now when I run script, when I enter my password, I will also see if there was failed out times or not. And of course, you can add that to your i3 config file. And as it is said here, first you make a variable for your script. So I edit this and then you just bind 
assign this to some key. I will add this to my modifier, control and X. Since my modifier is alt, it will be control alt X. And then when I save the file, reload my config. If I press control alt X, it will make uh, a screenshot of my current screen and lock it with that image. For instance, here is mo more visible and it's that simple. Of course, you can play with image magic a lot because it's a very powerful tool, but I won't cover this in this video. There is one more option and that is a better lock screen, but this package is not built for many distributions and you have a lot of dependencies and this is where I quit because this is too much work for uh, just a simple screen lock. i3lock has all the options that I actually need. And that's all.